there is no one who calls on your name who stares himself to take hold of you there is no one who stares himself to take hold of you my dear friends one of the greatest truth which jesus and in the gospel often we hear god telling us there is no one stares up himself there is no one shakes oneself there is no one who makes oneself to hunger for god to hold on to god there is no one stares up himself to hold on to you this is the cry of isaiah when he saw the lives of the people who are chosen by god this is the cry of the prophet this is one side story on the other side we read uh, the book of nahum chapter 2 the prophet nahum chapter 2 it says watch the road hello strengthen your flanks fortify your power mightily the time has come for anyone who wants to grow in life or to survive in the lord you have to watch the road in which you walk you have to strengthen your inner soul the flanks and fortify yourself with the mighty power of god if you don't do what will happen the man's life is meant for these three things one has to watch at one's life one has to strengthen one's soul and one has to move with the power and might of god the lord will restore the excellence of jacob that is the heart of god the lord brings excellence out of every individual that is the mission of god but if man doesn't watch his road if man doesn't strengthen his flanks if he doesn't move with the power and might of god what will happen the emptier the one who empties everything the enemy have emptied them out and ruined their wine branches if we don't watch at ourselves if we don't empower ourselves and move with the power of god the one who empties everybody makes them zero will come into their lives and not only he will empty them but even their future will be completely destroyed he will ruin their wine branches once the wine is removed and wine branches are completely destroyed it will be very tough because wine branches need support everywhere supports are given and it takes lot of money and work labor to put those branches to hold on to the wine now the whole thing is destroyed not only wine is gone to clean up to bring it back once again the wine it will take double expenses it will look like catastrophe yes this is the struggle god blessed lot with whatever god gave to abraham 
he had a wonderful family loving children he went away from god he had the riches he got the land where the water is flowing green land he had a green land he had his wife he had his children he had his life he knew everything is given by god but he didn't hold on to god he didn't stir up himself stirring up means shake off himself you have coffee you put the sugar if you drink you don't experience sugar you have to stir it up then the sugar will become in every drop of the coffee you got to stir it up that the sugar will have its power in every every particle of that coffee every drop of that coffee that sugar has to enter until then you got to continue to shake every drop should carry that sugar yes we have to stir up ourselves with the presence of god otherwise that which is not stirred up will be caught by the enemy to stir up oneself we have to get up we have to watch at ourselves and we have to second strengthen our life we have to move our life as life belonging to god this is a cry of god everybody has to build up one's life with the god god comes to us but to build up oneself in the lord is in our hands and third with that power of god we have to move into the world these are the three things the lord says otherwise the emptier one who empties everything will come and he will make you zero and he will see to it even your future is gone it's like a banana garden which we have in our homes when the storm comes it destroys all the branches everything is gone and the whole garden is gone everything is broken not only you lost the crop it takes plenty of time to clean it up to pull them out and then dig out throw it away to replant because everything is being shaken all the roots are shaken everything is fallen it will look a horrible sight yes the enemy as we read in matthew 11 12 from the days of john the baptist he enters into the lives of everyone who is the so called a man for god man dedicated for god he enters into their lives and with violence he takes away all that those people have earned from god it is not enough that we earn from god but we also have the great responsibility to take care of what god has given to us in second king chapter 4 she got the son but she could not lead the son into the lord and so the enemy came and snatched away the son and how the whole family was ruined that man says take the baby who is dead the woman takes the baby and locks in the room they copy a head their head doesn't work which mother will do ah uh, put the dead baby on the room and lock it and go away which father will say Nah. the child is dead take the baby and i am busy with my work 
when you don't hold on to what god gives you the emptier will come and take it away from you and ruin your life calling following the lord is not a desire it's a passion it's a passion of not own self it's a passion of the lord unless the lord becomes your passion unless you you every entire being of yours you start up with what god has done for you and what god is doing to this earth you will become a man of yourself god is looking for people who can cry lord why am i not stand up to hold on to you who is there who is there the bible says where are the people who can cry lord stir me up that i may let me stir up myself to hold on to you let not the empty air empty me and ruin my life let me stir up myself to hold on to you every minute stirring up myself to holding on to the lord daniel did every time stirring up oneself nehemiah did judith did it night a man is trying to seduce her so as soon as that man is slept she goes out with her friend whole night whole night praying judith that the next day she can overcome the temptation after coming temptation crying is easy stirring up oneself filling oneself and moving the world with the power from within stirring up oneself watching at oneself stirring up at oneself and filling oneself and use the power of god in the world and move ahead is our call for which we have to come to the feet of the lord wait on the lord until the power comes without power you can't live we can't do anything so wait on him hunger for him cry to him god says how can i do something to the relative of abraham without consulting abraham look when a man is staring up oneself to for the lord the lord comes and reveals the secrets of heaven to man in genesis 18 19 we read god said to himself how can i do this without consulting abraham what god consulting a man yes when you stare up yourself when i stare up myself in the lord all that up the lord becomes part of me that is the wonderful life for which god has called us my dear friends sangamam plus tv is god's gift for you for our times like comment share and subscribe god will do wonders in your life praise the lord